My journey was quite unlikely. I come from a family where nobody has ever been in politics before. I first got interested in politics as a student activist on campus, where there was a very fundamental question being asked. Do you want your country to join the European Union or do you want your country to stay out? I chose the side that wanted to join the European Union, so I spent years actively campaigning. That's what sparked that love for Europe. I would like the European Parliament to burst through the Strasbourg and Brussels bubble. All my travels so far as Vice President of the Parliament have been to capitals which were yearning for more visibility and more accessibility to the leadership of this European Union. And I think we can really do that in the strongest possible way, while at the same time setting the best example on a global level with our ideas, with our empowerment, with our possibility that anything can be done in our Union. I think it's about time that the European Parliament is led uh, by a woman. Uh, I think uh, different parliaments across the Union, but also across the world, are looking to the European Parliament already for leadership on civil rights, on women's rights, equality. I'd like to look at every single young girl growing up in our continent that can say what those women and men have done, I can do too. The past few years have been challenging. Uh, we have faced a pandemic uh, that has shaken up completely uh, the way we work. Yes, there are emergencies, yes, there are health situations, but let's make sure that this European Union stands for the freedoms that we have fought so hard in order to guarantee for all our citizens. Europe stands for freedom. Freedom to live as you wish to live. Freedom to love who you wish to love. Freedom to be who you wish to be. There is not one state, not one town, not one village in our union where this freedom will not be defended because this is who we are. This is a freedom zone. I would like our parliament to once again become a beacon of those fundamental values and principles that we have fought for in order to enter the European Union. We are there to bring the standards up for everybody so that people can be proud to be part of a Europe where people can feel safe, no matter where they come from, no matter who they love. I would like to look at this parliament as something that empowers, that people feel proud to be part of, that we can be open, accessible, reach across the political divide and find common solutions. This post-pandemic era will provide us with an opportunity to do just that. And I think we should really not give up on these beautiful common ideals. If you believe in something, don't give up on it.